these. So it looks like, um, whoa, we got an earthquake. Oh man, we got an earthquake. What's going on everyone? My name is Sherwin. And in this video, I wanted to just go over some of the Tesla holiday updates on the software that was released sometime in December. So if you were not aware, there is a website uh, called notatesla.app.com and they break down all of the release notes and stuff for every version that Tesla has released regarding the software. And so this version is 2023.44.30. Um, that's just the main release. Now there is a dot number after that, and those are additional revisions to that particular um, software release because there's little hot fixes and bug fixes and all that. So generally speaking, we're just gonna go over 2023.44.30. And before we begin, I just wanted to go over the different variations, hardware variations and combinations. Um, shout out to David. You could check him out on Instagram. Uh, my Tesla NDA. Um, he reminded me that there are many different variations of uh, the Tesla in recent time. So I'd like to begin with Hardware 3 that has USS or ultrasonic sensors. If you're wondering what USS is, it's those little circles that you could find along the bumpers of Tesla vehicles. Those are ultrasonic sensors or USS. The next one is Hardware 3 without USS, which is replaced by Tesla Vision. And I looked around and it looked like this started around October of 2022. I got my Model Y Performance uh, late August so I just missed it by about two months um, so yeah those are the ones that still have hardware three cameras um, but no more uh, ultrasonic sensors and just Tesla vision next is hardware 4 with Tesla vision so hardware 4 cameras uh, and no more ultrasonic sensor just uh, Tesla Vision. Um, also we have to consider that Tesla did switch uh, to AMD Ryzen APUs the year 2021 plus and these started on the model s and x and in 2022 and onwards model 3 and y so there are other combinations prior to 2021 such as the mcu versions and intel apu so i just wanted to give you the many different <laughs> variations and i'm sure there's more uh, variations but i just want to share with you those because it does somewhat impact uh, who gets some of these features that's part of the 2023 holiday update. So the first thing I wanted to go over is there is now a new suspension policy. And when I first read it, I thought suspension as in the suspension of the car uh, with regards to um, height of the car and everything. Um, but no, suspension as in you're suspended uh, from the uh, FSD and using autopilot. And so the new suspension policy, if you get five forced autopilot disengagement, you are suspended for a week. So be careful, don't ignore those warnings. Because if you get five of them, you, you won't be able to use it. Okay, so the next one is the cabin camera is now enabled. I'm not really sure what that word means because I've always thought it's always watching you, but it just now has notifications. When you are using autopilot that it's going to inform you if it thinks you're not paying attention and it's very sensitive. There's people on Twitter posting that they've gotten suspensions because they've gotten <laughs> five warnings to pay attention and they've ignored it. So it's very sensitive um, stuff that you were able to do before may now catch you and consider it to not pay attention so so pay attention as in like that 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 is it's really sensitive so again the, these are auto when you have autopilot enabled you don't even have to have fsd just autopilot in general or auto steer in general um, when those are enabled all of these will apply so just just be aware of that you don't have to have fsd now this one I like. The next one um, is alternate routes when driving. Alternate routes always existed, but when they go away after a few seconds, 
after you enter a destination. And I've always wished it remained, and now it does, uh, throughout your, uh, you know, driving to your destination. Um, it, it stays with you until you get closer to your destination or it cannot provide any um, alternating routes. So I really like that. It shows up as like a gray line. Your, the blue line is the, the directions that you're gonna be following, but the alternate routes um, show up as like gray or silver lines. And it's cool that it now shows even after you enter the address. So I really like that um, addition. Another favorite of mine is the custom lock sounds. Uh, <laughs> so there's 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 uh, many different options on this one, and the one I love is the uh, <laughs> the fart one. Um, so every time the car locks, it makes uh, a fart sound, and it actually uses random fart sounds. I can't remember how many uh, different fart sounds it is. But the one I really like is the the short one where it whistles and then it just has. I'm immature, I know. Sorry, but one of the cool things with this update is you can have a custom uh, sound. Now you gotta save it as a wave file, and it has to be less than one megabyte. I don't know what the longest sound you can use, but I think the important thing is it has to be less than one megabyte in size. This is Jarvis, sir. Your Tesla is now locked and secured, Mike. Defense systems activated. I love that. Now, cars without the external speakers are not gonna be able to have this feature. I believe like earlier Model 3s don't have this. I think 2019-ish, something like that. So um, if you don't have the external speakers, you may not be able to take advantage of this or be able to use this feature. Um, there might be some retrofits or aftermarket upgrades, um, or you just have to buy a new car. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's not, for this feature, I don't think it's worth getting a new car, but just, just keep that in mind that not everything um, on this update you can have access to. Now, this next one, the Park Assist upgrade, I have mixed feelings about it, but this includes that high fidelity 3D stuff. Um, it seems to only be for hardware four cars. It's not on my Model Y performance because I have hardware three with ultrasonic sensors. Um, this may be available to hardware three cars that have Tesla vision. I'm not so sure. So if you have that combo, um, please let me know. Uh, that you have the high fidelity 3D visual thing. And so it activates when your car is traveling at slow speed. So that could either be approaching uh, a stoplight or uh, parking uh, in or parking out. Um, so it, it does an overhead view of the car. Now, the cool thing about this is it actually will detect the, the lines, the parking lines now. So you could see whether or not you are uh, within those lines. Um, so that's one thing I like about it because previously I just, it doesn't really show the lines. I don't, I don't think it does. So that's one cool thing about it. Um, I also noticed in our Model X with Tesla Vision, the, the beepings are less frequent. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm not too sure about this one. I'm 50-50 on it. I mean, it's, it's cool and all, but uh, I still I still prefer um, ultrasonic sensors to be honest with you. So yeah, I'm 50/50 on it. So the next one may not apply to everyone unless you have a refresh Model X, S, and Model 3. Now you can now play uh, games on the rear screen, and so the rear screens are only available to again the Model 3 refresh, the Model S and X refresh. Uh, on top of that, you could now add a Bluetooth video game controller and it, you can now have rumble effects uh, when using the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Xbox controllers on select games. So I don't really play too much games. I actually, I don't play any of the games at all. Even when I'm supercharging, 
I just I don't play any of the games. Um, so and the kids don't play games because they're always on their devices, their iPad or their iPhone. And then finally, the rear passenger screen you can now connect headphones to. Again, it's it's great for those who use it, but we we just don't utilize it. Um, but I was totally wrong with my assumptions. I thought that you needed additional hardware. Apparently, the additional hardware is already there. Um, it's just the software part, they didn't enable it or turn it on. Um, but yes, finally. So for those who do uh, use the rear screen for entertainment, you, you, you as the driver or front passenger do not have to suffer and listen to what the people in the back are listening to because you could now uh, utilize Bluetooth headphones. Thank you, Tesla, finally. <laughs> um, but what's cool is not only can you add the headphones, but you could also add the Bluetooth controller. I haven't tested it out because we don't really use it, but I am curious to see how many headphones and how many controllers uh, can I add to it. So I may do a separate video on that just to play with it. Um, but yes, finally. Next, we have the automatic 911 calls. So when the airbags are triggered, a countdown timer will show before it calls 911 automatically for you. Um, and it uses the Bluetooth connected phone. So if you're not in the United States, uh, 911 is a number that you can dial for emergency purposes. The next one is speed cameras on your route. So what happens is on the navigation, um, there is a an icon that shows up um, whenever a speed camera is detected. I believe these are only um, enabled or displayed when you are using your navigation system. Because one thing I did notice is like stop signs and stop lights are now showing up on my Model Y performance. Um, I thought this stuff was only for those who have FSD. So it looks like, um, whoa, we got an earthquake. Oh man, we got an earthquake. Woo! Is it still going? <laughs> okay, I gotta go check on the kids. Well, yeah, that was interesting. Uh, living in California for so long, earthquakes are like, eh, whatever. <laughs> um, okay, so... Uh, yeah, I started noticing stoplight icons and stop sign icons in the Model Y. Maybe it's always been there, I just never realized it. But again, these are only displayed when you are using the navigation. Um, and so I guess uh, cameras now show up. I haven't really traveled in an area that has um, cameras. So I'm going to try to look for like examples of it. Next one is the trip planner is now available on the mobile app. I don't really use it, but you know, you can, you can send uh, directions, I guess, or plan trips ahead from your app and send it to the car. Uh, one, one thing that's kind of buggy for us is because we have multiple Teslas on the app, um, depending on where which car it's selected on is where it's going to send the directions to. Um, but it's it's kind of buggy at times having multiple Teslas on the app. Um, I guess it's good for those who want to plan ahead and then send stuff over. But otherwise, the interface itself on the car in terms of um, trip planning and everything um, is pretty easy to use and um, very responsive. So I really don't find the need for it so but i guess it's cool um because it's just an additional option for owners to have uh next is more cameras in live view live camera view so now what's included is the pillar cameras it can be accessed on the app um so the thing you have to consider is again this is one of those features that may not be available to everyone if you do not have the premium connectivity plan, you do not have access to this because this feature where you could do live camera view on the app uh, remotely uh, is, is one of the options that come with the premium connectivity plan, which is $10 a month or 
$100 a year. If you recently got a Model S or a Model X, uh, you get one year free. If you recently got a Model Y or a Model 3, you get it free for 30 days. Um, and then beyond that, you have to pay for it. Uh, and then if you bought a Cybertruck, that's the Foundation Edition, Foundation Edition, you get it free for life. But how many of you out there have a Cybertruck? <laughs> so also something to note, in Sentry mode, it will not use these cameras to record. It's just mainly to view. This next one I really like, automatic blind spot camera. So this is a nice addition. Um, if you have turned on your turn signals or using your turn signals, depending if you're going left or right, um, the side repeater cameras will turn on and display on your screen. And if it detects a blind side object, the edges are going to turn red and i believe even the outer edge of the screen will turn red so that's pretty cool uh, many cars already have this on their side mirrors and little lights show up and i believe in the the model 3 highland refresh um, it's not on the side mirrors itself rather it's it's by the front window um, there's li a little tiny light but now it has a red notification red light on your screen so that's pretty cool i like that one and then there are a bunch of updates to fsd version 11.4.9 i'm not really going to cover this because many of us don't have fsd uh, i have my own opinions on that i am planning to do a a video on it um, like an assessment after the three months trial is over with our model x plaid um, and I doubt we're going to continue to pay for it um, or start paying for it. Um, so just stay tuned for that video. I've been um, gathering some notes up. Um, yeah, and that's it. So that's really it that I found on the website. There's probably other like hidden Easter eggs or something, but I didn't really find any information on that. But these are the ones that are um, publicized or, you know, um, part of that website now <laughs> this update still does not include summon or park assist for teslas with hardware 4 and tesla vision so sorry so what do you think about the 2023 holiday update um, not all of the updates apply to either of the cars um, so there are some things that i have in the model y that the model x doesn't have and vice versa so there's a couple of things I did like. Uh, some of the things are the alternate routes, the custom lock sounds I love, pillar cameras, even though sentry mode doesn't really record using it. Um, but one thing I dislike is that cabin camera. It's really too sensitive. It's really too sensitive. So, and then the whole suspension policy, I guess it's great um, to have that for, for those careless owners, um, but with the combination of that cabin camera being too sensitive i i i don't know i don't know so how, how many of you out there have already gotten strikes so <laughs> hopefully you didn't get suspended but you know um but that's really about it uh for the holiday updates let me know what you think in the comments below uh, i just wanted to give you a couple of updates on what's been going on i have been remodeling the shed studios i'm in a different side of it normally i have the camera on this side and i'm standing like this and it's going this way um, but now i'm on, on on this video i have it here i haven't figured out uh where i'm gonna do my recordings but i'm just trying different angles i'm still in the process of remodeling there's just a bunch of stuff uh if you haven't checked out my birthday video i gave you a glimpse like behind the scenes stuff that i wanted to share with you guys but it's it's coming along it's coming along so um it is a new year happy new year um and we're gonna keep it moving so thank you for watching this video if you like the video please like if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and i'll see you on the next one